Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I'm back with you again today to share how I planned in my mini happy planner. You can see last week where I used a lot of stamping and I'm going to share with you right there how I changed out my discs and my cover, but I'm still using the inside. Now that sticker book right there that I shared with you is what I'm going to be working with mostly this week. And that one sticker that I'm going to put down in the Monday section right here is sort of the inspiration for the whole week. I will link up this one sticker book that this one came out of and where I kind of got my inspiration from in the description down below. Now, I didn't have any plans on Monday, so for Tuesday I'm just using those cute little sticker bullet points to notate the activities and the plans that I have. It just is three different little bullets and those are match really well with the scallop in the bottom of that sticker and so I thought it was kind of fun using that sticker and having it bleed over into Tuesday then to go super simple with just the bullet points for Tuesday. Now I'm also going to do something a little bit different for me which is not different for probably a lot of you is I'm going to use a sticky note as an act for an activity. So I'm just using my tape runner to give it that adhesive on the back so it doesn't fall off and then I'm going to trim off the excess using my X-Acto knife. Now obviously there's a ton of different ways to trim things. I just use one because I have one in my scrap space. Now I'm also removing any excess adhesive with that adhesive eraser. Those are really inexpensive. They only cost a couple of dollars and they can also be really helpful. Now one of the cool things about the sticky notes is that since they're just paper, I can use my regular Papermate Flare pen to write on there and I don't need to use a permanent marker or anything like that on some, like on some of the glossy stickers. Now what's kind of fun about changing up the design here is that I was able to put that right there in the center and then I found that pink, sort of a blush pink that kind of matches the scallops in the top part of that decorative circle and it's got a question mark on it in the gold foil or whatever but I just still thought it was kind of a fun addition and that's kind of the point of this week is that I'm trying to keep it whimsical and fun and just a little bit more random and not matchy matchy. Now I'm looking through these sticker books trying to find something that will go right there and that can often be difficult, but I know I want to keep something that's got a real vertical or horizontal feel. So I'm going to layer two of these sticker strips, one that has the text and one that just has the dots, and then use two more of the little bullet points at the bottom. This way I can have all of the design go all the way across as opposed to where I like to often use the vertical like up in the top with that vertical sticker that goes into two days. So as you can see I'm finished with the left hand side of the page and I'm going to add the right hand side now. Now one of the things that I like to do is have both pages there together so that I can have them work well together and I've added that weekend banner and obviously it's meant for a classic size ha vertical happy planner but there's no reason I can't make it work in my horizontal mini right it works perfectly with those two boxes right there I love the pink and it matches a back again to that inspiration sticker that I have on Monday and Tuesday with the pink up there at the top and then I'm going to pull out some stamps from Sweet Stamp Shop, two different sets right here. This is basic tabs and more tabs, and I'm going to stamp those in the Saturday section as I have quite a few different activities, three of them that I'm going to stamp right there. And the first one is that half circle, and I'm having it meet the edge right there and I love having those things sit flush against the edge. I just think it provides a really neat sort of image and then I'm also going to use this other circle that has the opening and I'll place a baseball sticker in that opening a little bit later. I often go back and forth between stickers and stamps in those openings in that stamp set but today I'm going to use the sticker. And then one last stamp I'm going to use from the basic tabs which is that little box with the heart and the heart is just so super cute and I thought it was a great addition for the reminder of a birthday party. Now I used my Sweet Stamp Shop acrylic block and my VersaFine black ink. I love VersaFine. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos on stamping, I think it gives you the clearest, best impression and it does not bleed through the paper in the Happy Planner. And so it's one of those things that you can absolutely use something else, but I think that without using a really high quality pigment ink, you won't be particularly happy. 
Now I have this little black box and I'm going to place that over overlapping a little bit on that I Love Weekend sticker. I just love the way that that kind of looks right there right next to it and the contrast of the black and white with that soft pink also. Now I've pulled out my Tombow brush pen and I'm going to just add the littlest bit of brush lettering down in that note section. However, I do also want to add some washi tape too. So I've just pulled out this little bit and it's really cute. It's got this watercolor. It's from the Happy Planner and a bunch of like the different gradients that move right into each other. Now I am writing the phrase or whatever, choose happy. And I decided to start with happy because I wanted to make sure that I would be able to fit the whole thing using the brush lettering. Now I wasn't sure, so if I wasn't able to, I could go ahead back and add the choose in just regular typical block lettering that I normally use with my Paper Mate Flair. But I was able to work them out both out right there and so I'm pretty happy about that. Now I still need to add a little bit more decor and so I'm gonna try once again the washi tape plus sign. I don't know why I'm really hot to do it. I think it's just because it's been in my head now for several days and I've wanted to make it work and it doesn't really work. But I'm not going to give up on it quite yet. So I'm going to pull out a couple of stickers that I can add to that Friday section because I don't have any activities planned there. And so adding a circle, which is always really fun, and then I will also find a little sort of tab looking sticker as well that I can add and stick to that pink and gold color scheme. Now looking at it, I really hate it, so I'm going to pull it up, but there's no reason I can't try, right? Especially with the washi tape because it's highly removable. Now I still have those two stickers there, so I definitely want to add something else. So I'm going to look through my little stickers and see what I have that would work right there and it would all go together and feel like it should all be together because I still want to use those two stickers. I've already chosen them and they already work really well right there and it would be a waste to throw those away. So it, now the challenge is to find something else that works and also works with the rest of the layout. So I'm going to go back to the Faith Value sticker book. I know there's a lot of really beautiful things in there that work out well and I was thinking maybe those hexagons but I already have that little triangle sort of shape tab and so that doesn't really work. So what I kind of settle on that might be the best is a brush lettered sticker with the clear backing and so I'm going to continue looking through this book and see if I can find something in this one that will work for that particular space. Now again it's kind of got to be, be bleh, gotta be a good balance on not only that one block and the stickers I already have but then also what works for the rest of the page as well and so that's definitely a challenge as you get nearer to the end of decorating a layout because you want it to all meld together really well. So I ended up finding one, this Yay, which is super cute and fun, and I'm going to add a little bit more washi tape as well, just to kind of give it that finished look and make it work all together as well. Now I'm going to peel up just the tiniest bit of that Yay sticker so that I can have the washi underneath it, and it doesn't really necessarily match the color scheme in those the rest of the week, but it works together and it coordinates well. And so now I'm pretty happy with it, but I feel like it's kind of plain. So I do want to still add a little bit more, a few more decorative touches. So I'm going to add a little bit of coloring with my Prismacolor colored pencil, but use any colored pencils you have. You don't need to run out and buy those. Any colored pencils, they load on top of each other and you can blend. And it's just a really fun way to not have any bleed through in the Happy Planner, but still get some fun coloring in. And then I also still want to add the little baseball icon sticker there as well. So now basically I'm finished, but I still feel like mm, it's a little bit plain. I still need to add a little more. So I'm going to just add some heart little bullet stickers. And then that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, I would very much appreciate if you left me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.